Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today's video is going to be one all about my shopping addiction and in case you guys don't know I have a big shopping addiction so you see hauls all the time here on my channel whether it be Marshalls and TJ Maxx hauls like today, grocery hauls, or even sometimes I do things like Hobby Lobby and things like that. But today is going to be my spring TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul along with just a little bit of Ray Dunn hunting and the reason I say it's just a little bit is because I actually went in there with the mentality of I'm just going to find dog bowls. Speaking of dog bowls, if you guys don't know and don't follow me on Instagram, I did get a puppy for Valentine's Day. I actually got her a little bit before Valentine's Day, but she was my Valentine's Day gift. She had a Ray Dunn dog bowl and my kiddo dropped it and broke it. And then I also have a golden retriever who had a Ray Dunn dog bowl and my kid yet again knocked it over and broke it. So both my dogs didn't have dog bowls and I like the Ray Dunn thing because it's very neutral and goes with my home decor. So I was looking for dog bowls that would be very neutral and not like stand out. When I went in to get these bowls, they had a little bit of spring decor out and some Easter stuff. And I was like, all right, I didn't decorate for Valentine's Day. I got to hit spring extra hard, which by the way, you guys, if you're interested in spring decor, make sure and hit the subscribe button down below because I am working on getting that out very soon. So I picked up a little bit of spring stuff that I'm going to share with you guys. But first, let's go do a little bit of shopping together. <laughs> to this I don't know how to act don't know how to adapt to this situation not used to this no I'm not better let myself give in to love believe in us no matter what it does to my heart not used to this no I'm not it was like if we were to waste these moments the light poets to me Sorry that that was not like the longest shopping portion I've ever done, but I had my kiddo and my husband with me and it's kind of hard to record when you're with your kid and your husband and you know, if you're a mom or a wife, you understand what I'm talking about. But anyways, you guys, enough rambling. Let's jump on into the haul portion. I'm literally staring at this stuff over here because I don't know where to start. I have three bags, one from Marshalls and two from TJ Maxx, and I'm looking at it going, do I want to show you the Marshalls stuff first or I want to show you TJ Maxx? Let's go with Marshalls since it's only one. So it's only one bag, but it is one very big bag from Marshalls, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of open it, and um, uh, I don't know what to start with. Mm, I lied when I said I don't know what to start with, because the second I saw this, I was like, yep, I'm talking about it. And that's the Ray Dunn coffee. Like, I have not seen Ray Dunn coffee before. And if you're a new subscriber here, I actually have a coffee bar, because we are big coffee people. It's honestly kind of the only caffeine that we drink around here, besides sweet tea, of course. And I wanted something a little different. We've actually gotten to like grinding up our own beans, but this was not available as beans. You had to get the ground. And I got one that is, what is it? French roast? What was the other one? Raised blend. I'm not sure about the raised blend. It says it's a medium and French roast is obviously almost always dark. I've never seen a French roast that's not. So I believe French roast in general is supposed to be dark. But we do did pick up just two of these, one and one, and uh, we're gonna try them out. I'm not sure what I'm gonna think of them, but we're trying them out. I told y'all we got a dog, so of course we had to go check out the dog section, which I mean, we were there for dog bowls anyways, and we found none at Marshall's, but I left with other things. 
Um, this right here is a chew stick. Now I do have a lab puppy, which means lots and lots of chewing. And this was actually on sale for $3. Not all of them were on sale, only some of them were, which was really kind of funny to me. And I don't ever understand why it's like that. Same product, some are on sale, some aren't. Makes no sense. But anyways, you guys, we did pick her up just this chew stick, which I'm sure she's gonna be getting right after. This. Nothing broke, by the way, you guys. It just missed where I was throwing it and hit the floor, and it was really loud. More dog toys. Now, this is something I really thought was funny because this is supposed to be like a dog's Patron and Bacardi, and although we are not huge drinkers around here, if we have a sip of something, I like Patron. My husband likes Bacardi. When I saw these, I was like, oh my god, they fit us. I have to get them. Then, because we picked out dog toys, my kiddo had to pick out a dog toy too, which he picked out this really cute monkey, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really like this, especially because she loves to play tug of war, and he feels kind of durable, and it's one of those things you can latch on elsewhere, and you've got all these limbs to pull on, because right now she has a possum and a duck, and she's almost torn the possum to pieces because she latches on on one end and we pull from the other, and it's just gonna separate. And her duck's still holding up really nice, which her duck feels something kind of like this, but a little different, like the material still feels heavy duty like this, which is one reason I'm hoping this will last me a little bit. The only Easter slash spring decor that I picked up at Marshalls was something I saw like right when I walked in. My Marshalls has shoes right there. And then right after the shoes was this one, like a little end cap with like some candy and some Eastery stuff, not true decor, just like little like basket stuffers. But this basket, which is a Ray Dunn one that says hip hop on the gnome's head, with eggs in here, and if you guys don't know, I am a huge, like, gnome person. I almost said Ray Dunn person, but I am a gnome person. Um, and he's sitting in a basket, like, he is in here. You can't pull him out. The guy actually at checkout tried pulling him out because he thought it was two different pieces and we were trying to make it one. Um, but it is one piece, and this thing was $29.99, and it's honestly a little more than I wanted. But it was the only piece I saw, and I said I wasn't buying a bunch of spring decor because I already have it. So I figured, you know what, what the heck, let's grab the gnomey dude. I already had a perfect spot to place him, so here he is. So Easter being the next holiday means spring's right around the corner, which means it's actually like summertime in Texas. And I say that because yesterday it was 84 degrees and actually could have been like a beach day and stuff. So my Marshalls and TJ Maxx even both had out swimsuits and summer stuff. So I had to pick up some of it. Now this is bug spray and I had to get some bug spray. I just grabbed it because I knew we were gonna be cooking out that evening and I needed it. So here it is and we ended up not even using it honestly. And then I picked up some Hurley swimming chunks because I love Hurley like as a brand in general for me, my husband, my son, everything. I love the bright colors because we do live by the actual beach. And fun fact, if you do not know you guys, that it is like a safety precaution thing not to wear blues, blacks, dark colors like that at the actual beach because it makes you easier to stand out and be seen. So I do try and get some swimsuits that have a bright colors on them. Now, obviously this one does have some black on there, but there is a whole lot of bright to stand out. Not only are we by the beach, we also have a pool in our backyard. So probably about four to five days a week, my kid is in the water during the summertime. So I have to get lots of swim trunks for him um, or else he doesn't have them sometimes. And I ran into instances where we didn't have sleep, clean swimming trunks and it was just a mess. But anyways, I thought these were super cute. They're a size seven. My kid is in that like six, seven range. He still has sixes from last year. They're a little snug and off, obviously like way too short. So we're up into sevens this year. And the last thing from Marshalls is something that is actually not from me. So if you guys are like returning subscribers and you see this thing, don't get excited. Cause again, it's not for me. But I picked up a baby onesie by Nike and you guys are gonna start seeing a little bit of baby clothes here and there. Not for me, like I said, absolutely not for me. If you're a new subscriber, you do not know that I have no tubes. I can't have any more kids. I'm a one and done type of mama, which is why I don't focus on like children content or baby hauls or anything like that. It's cause my kid's six years old and I'm out of that stage. But I do have three babies being born within my life. Um, we have family, friends that are family, et cetera, all having babies within like a two or three month um, time span. And so far it's one boy, one girl, and we don't know what the third one is yet. And I'm uber excited for this, you guys. Like every time I go in a store, I'm looking at baby stuff because like I said, my kid is six. Like I've been out of the baby phase for a long time, but now I'm getting to be Aunt B and I get to buy stuff and do stuff for these kids and I am, oh my gosh, so excited if you guys can't tell. But anyways, I did pick up just a little gray Nike onesie and I thought this was so cute. So this one is for Jason's godmother's son, which I've already picked him up some other things and I like to space things out in sizes when I get them because babies grow, they don't last in one size, so I just wanna get all over the board and not one size. So I was looking at like maybe the five or six things I've got them, and I didn't have any like zero to three or three to six months. I had newborns, I had six months, I had 12 months, nine, six to nine months, I had nothing with a three in it. So when I saw this, I was like, ooh, he should be around that size by fall time. 
it is Nike. You can dress it up, dress it down. It'll be awesome. And I thought it was so cute. And I think it was like under $10. It was, oh, it was $12.99, which is great compared to like the $25 they normally cost. So I snagged one. So that is it for the Marshalls bag, which means it's time to move on to TJ Maxx. And honestly, as I'm looking at this, everything in both of these bags that I have is wrapped up. But I don't remember buying all the glass stuff. I just remember the dog bowls. And I don't know, I guess I got more because things are wrapped up. But anyways, let's let's see what I got. Don't you just love when stuff like this happens? Like you buy more stuff. Oh, I remember getting this now. You buy more stuff than you thought or things that you thought. Because like this right here, glass, total glass, which was, this was actually a Valentine's Day thing. It says cutie pie on it. And I got this because normally I decorate for Valentine's Day. Like normally I totally would have. But from right before Christmas till right before Valentine's Day, we had some family stuff going on and decorating my house was like a last thing priority. So I didn't do it this year, but normally I would have. And this right here is where I'm going to put like on my coffee bar with my sweeteners in it because right now they're in like a sugar container. So I'll put them in here and you take the little lid off and it's super cute and it's perfect for Valentine's Day and it'll look really nice in my little coffee bar because again, it's kind of neutral. It's just the font, the mug, there's nothing crazy about it. The pinks and reds will tie in with everything else and voila. So I had no idea that Ray Dunn made like sponge caddies. So I'm assuming this is something different or something new, not different, but it was $4.99 for the sponge caddy. And I've wanted one just to like put over on the center of my sink to put both my sponges in like throughout the day. And obviously I'm not gonna leave them there and let them sit like overnight and be yucky. Like just, we don't do that. But you know, when I'm doing my stuff, it's nice just to drop them in here and not like have to throw it on the counter or have like a sloppy mess or anything. And I don't know, you guys, I just wanted one of these. So I got super um, excited when I seen it. And it does say caddy on both sides. Let me see if you guys can see it. There we go. But it does say caddy on both sides. I did think that it said like clean on one or something like that or sponge, but apparently it says caddy. Now this is one piece you did see in the shop with me portion because I actually walked around and debated if I wanted this or needed it and finally I decided I need it more than I truly want it and it is a jewelry box by Ray Dunn. Now I do have one jewelry box already but it is actually like a small little glass that you just lift the top off of. There's no like dividers for rings. It's just one little box to throw everything in and it kind of gets a little messy for me and I'm not too fond of it. I like it because it's what I had and what I found but it's not my favorite thing and then I saw this and then when I opened the top and I saw, I'm gonna try not to blind you guys with that mirror, right here where you could put your rings. I, I was sold. I had rings right here I could put. I've got a little divider here for some other knickknacks. And then I've got a drawer that I can toss my bracelets in because I do have something that hangs up for my necklaces to go on. Um, and I thought, hey, this is a lot more functional than the one that I already have. And it's gonna make more sense to me in the long run. And it was only $24.99, so $25. I didn't think it was that bad. And um, it goes with my bedroom. It'll be super cute just sitting there chilling. So why not? And now we've got more baby stuff. So I do have one little outfit that's by Hurley and it is a zero to three month, I think. Oh, it's a three month. So this one says little shark. And I thought it was super cute because like we're by the coast, we're by the beach. Um, my friend that is having this baby actually lives out closer to the coast than I do and works out there. She's out there a lot more, so the beachy vibes just seems super, super fitting. Like it is a little class down here, which we all know when you have babies, it's so easy to have like these little romper outfits and open them up, change a baby and go on. Then have to actually break down a whole outfit. So I thought it was super cute and I couldn't really pass it up, especially for 10 bucks. No, $7.99, so it was less than what I thought it was. Um, but I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't pass it up. I thought it was adorable. It's Hurley, and like I said earlier, I'm a sucker for Hurley. Since I'm a sucker for Hurley, obviously we got more Hurley. And these are just three onesies that are just very basic, something just to put on a baby while they're laying around, maybe put it on, put some pants and a jacket with it. There's no telling with these again, three months, because like, like I told you guys earlier, I didn't get anything much in that sizing. I felt the need to get a little bit. So voila, three of them. And I happened to just like see these. Like I had no intentions to like go in the area because they weren't with the baby stuff, but I saw the orange and I was like, oh, oh, that's pretty, what is it? And what well and behold it's something in the size of what I was needing oh heavens y'all to reiterate that I am a Hurley junkie I did get now these are black I will note that these are for for my kid to wear at home but I did grab another pair of Hurley swimming trunks that are just black with the bright colors here and I got these more for our home pool than to actually wear to the beach again I got a size 7 and they are stretchy now the other ones don't have a liner in them they're like a tie waist but these are stretchy and have a liner in them which is one reason I grabbed them because it feels like for me, it's super hard to find swimming trunks that I like that have the liner for them and not just the tie waist that he wears underwear or something with and we still risk them falling off. I don't know what it is, but the tie waist don't stay on that well. The elastic ones do, so I don't know you guys, it's just a mess by swimming trunks for my kid, honestly. Moving on to the second bag and obviously more glass stuff, which now I remember buying more glass stuff that I think about it. 
This is something you guys saw in a little haul and that is a Ray Dunn mug that does say Cotton Tail Cutie. And I have, again, coffee bar. I have a little mug stand and I don't think I have any spring mugs. And even if I do, I have four open spots to hang mugs on the thing. So I got this one to hang on there more for decor than anything. However, I may end up using it. There's no telling, but it's just the yellow mug that says uh, Cotton Tail Cutie, right? Yeah, I almost said Country Tail Cutie. What in the world, Bailey? Another mug that I grabbed says Chicks Dig Me with the yellow inside. And this is just like the yellow mug I showed you guys, just to hang on the side right there with my coffee bar and to look pretty. And I thought with the yellow with that one and the yellow in this one it would really like pop over there and I'm thinking I may try and decorate that area in like some yellow with maybe a little bit of pink I'm not too sure yet I'm playing with ideas in my head because reality is I need to look through all my spring decor which hint hint probably coming soon okay you guys so I did something that I don't remember doing and that is buying three Ray Dunn dog bolts Now I only hate need two but when I saw these you'll understand totally what I did but I bought three without realizing it and what I did was I bought one that said foodie, which this is going to be for my golden retriever because she's a foodie. She loves food. Golden retrievers, if you guys don't know, apparently they have a chemical imbalance and are always hungry. So she's a foodie. She loves it. She eats everybody else's food. And then I got one that says gulp. So what had happened was my golden retriever actually had the two dog bowls for her water and for her food before we got the puppy. And we took one of her bowls and turned it into the puppies. And she has a different water bowl now or did. Um, so she's going to have her gulp bowl back and then she's going to have the foodie bowl. And the lab puppy has her own water bowl that's for her. That is also because she's going to go to work and stuff with me. My golden can't get in my vehicle anymore. She's old and having trouble walking, which is why she's not going to work with me anymore. And the puppy is. But anyways, you guys, when she goes to work with me, she's got a Yeti bowl that we travel with her and it's just her bowl that's gonna go everywhere. So we have that. And then her dog food bowl says, eat up. And I thought that was really just cute to have the eat up in the foodie bowls. And you know, why not? In reality, I think I bought three bowls because I have a shopping addiction and I don't know when to tell myself no. So if you feel this way, let me know down in the comments below so that I know I'm not alone because your girl over here has a shopping problem. And that is it for my spring TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ray Nunn Hunt haul. That is a really big name for something, you guys, but you get my point. This was all of my spring stuff that I've got thus far. I may do one or two more. I'm not really sure, but if you guys like hauls, definitely hit that subscribe button down below because you guys will see them all the time around here. Like I said several times, I got a shopping addiction. But anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, make sure and give it a big thumbs up. I do go back and look at what has thumbs up and what doesn't because I know if you guys are enjoying it, you're giving it a thumbs up and that's the content I'm going to be creating for you guys. So to get more hauls and more content like this, thumbs up. Make sure and hit subscribe so you can catch that content when it comes out. And um, that's it for this one, you guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.